So you might be in this weird situation where your MacBook, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, whatever you have, is just constantly loading up into this macOS Apple logo display and you can't really get past it. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that if you're updating your particular MacBook or your Mac or whatever, like right now, you might just wanna go and leave it. Sometimes it will randomly just go through update, especially if there's a loading bar at the bottom. Just go ahead and let it do its thing. Sometimes Apple even says it can go and take basically overnight for some of these updates to install. So just go through, let it kind of update overnight or whatever. But if it isn't an update, if it doesn't look like it's loading at all, the other thing you may want to try doing is to go through and just restart your Mac. So go ahead, hold down that power button. If you can verify or kind of confirm that it's not an update, hold down that power button of your Mac. If you have a Mac mini or whatever, try, you can do the power button thing too, or unplug it and plug it back in. And you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem. For some people that might end up fixing the issue and that might be all you have to do. Now, if that doesn't end up working, another thing you may want to try doing is you want to go ahead and essentially is to load up your particular Mac inside of your disk utility. Now to do this, what you're going to want to do, if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, so any of the M chips at once, you want to turn on your Mac when it's off, but you want to hold down the power button. And then when you go ahead is you want to keep holding down that power button until you see the startup options window open up. Now you want to click the gear icon labeled options and you want to click continue. If you're on an Intel processor, what you want to do is you want to turn on your Mac. And then while you're holding that down, you want to immediately hold down the command and R key at the same time. And you want to hold those down until you see the Apple logo or another image. And you want to keep holding those down. Now, when you do that, you'll get into your disk utility panel. From there, you can reinstall macOS, you can restore from a time machine, and you can repair your disk if you have the disk utility option. You can also repair your disk there too. So those are a few different ways to kind of go through and try to fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.